I'm all up in your grill so you can see the real a a what's up good people aka winners that's what we do a that's all we do a a a a a a i'm coming to you with another video coming to you with another video Ricky, Ricky. hey what's up you guys okay so listen I got a little off track, but it's all to the good. We are here. Oh yes. I am about to bring you something that is going to change your life. Okay, so you're welcome in advance. There are a couple of makeup tips that I have been not dying, but super duper excited to share with you guys. And this can be for a beginner in makeup. This can be for someone that's been in makeup a long time. However, if you've been in makeup a long time, you probably know about this, but if not, it's it's all to the good because judge free zone over here. So many times I see people that um, they like hook their make, not hook their makeup up, but they do, they put a little eyeshadow on, they get their brows all the way right. Some people don't even have to do anything to their brows, right? I didn't do much today. I ain't that girl that don't have to do nothing though, but I did put a little pencil on. I did not do my, um, my Ofra pomade and sculpt and do all that because it's not that type of day. But I'm saying like, if you have a day where you just kind of throw the brows on, I see people put eyeshadow on all that kind of stuff they might even do a little bit of powder but here's the thing they might have a lot of darkness under their eye or they don't even neutralize their eyes um, the lid of their eyes before they apply shadow or even if they just want to have it like naked and just do lashes sometimes we have that discoloration that causes our skin to not look even and here's the thing and I'm not an esthetician or anything like that but like I know what I like and I know what works okay so that's what I'm here to talk to you about for me I have a little bit of darkness so I like to put concealer on my lids to mute out that color because here's the thing when you have an even tone and you put even a little bit of highlighter or whatever like you can see a little bit of shine right here because you know I do take care of my skin but when you have that youthful glow and when you have that even skin tone it makes your skin look really healthy and it takes some years off okay so I'm gonna show you a couple of tips that will not even require foundation this will not even require a beauty sponge unless you just want to use one it's mostly gonna be fingers so that's what we're about to do and I'm not even gonna prime my face I'm not gonna do any of that because this is like a super subtle type look this is this is a look that I sometimes do when I go to church and we're wearing masks and stuff like that and I just don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff on or if I'm just a little lazy and don't feel like putting on nothing okay this is my go-to look I, I did um, get my eyebrows threaded so they're kind of behaving so I used my makeup forever pencil this is in the number 40 and um, you can tell that she's really really loved okay i'm gonna take this concealer by Too faced it's the born this way multi-use no this is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer this is in the shade chestnut this is my skin tone so what i do first is i take my concealer and then i just take a flat brush this is ofra's number 20 and i'm just gonna put it over my lid and what this does is it mutes out that darkness that's on my lid whether I am putting on eyeshadow after this step or if I just want to leave it this way it just makes my skin look healthy and I'm not sculpting the brows that's not the look we're going for today we're simply making it one even tone I usually like to use a skin tone powder so whatever powder I use to set my foundation after I'm put it on I use that for this eye and I'm just making sure that I get it all the way blended in you don't have to take that long okay this really could take you like all of three minutes or five minutes or whatever pat it out with my finger I'm just gonna take this real technique brush this is I don't even know what number girl it is gone off of there girl I didn't use that it's gone gone and so I'm actually gonna take this powder this is the Fenty Beauty powder in 390 and I am going to just pat that on and I'm just gonna pat that all over I used to use a smaller brush but this one just just knocks out all of it at one time. The next step that I use, there are two different products that you can use um, for this step. One is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is in the shade 51, and I have a video all on this right here, the whole like collection when I first got it, and I kept purchasing more and more. This is probably like my fourth one. And then I think this is my second or third of the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna corrector or skin enhancer, skin eye brightener, I think. This is in the shade Toffee, and um, I think 
think that, you know, for the sake of ease in this video, I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever today. And so all I do is I take a little bit out. And the reason that we're using a corrector, I'm going to explain to you guys. This is like, I do not go straight into a concealer for the simple fact that a lot of times when I do the concealer and the concealer begins to wear, because first of all, I don't use extremely full coverage concealer, number one. Okay. I don't need it too thick. I don't need it too drying. I don't like that to do that under my eye because then it makes me look wrinkly and old. So I don't just use concealer by itself because then throughout the day, as the concealer begins to wear off, then I feel like the darkness starts to come through. Now, maybe others may not see it, but I totally see it. And that's all that matters. Okay. And it gives me like this ashy or this, this like cast right under my eye. But before I even apply concealer under the eye, I neutralize that darkness and I place a corrector underneath there. And you ask, why don't I use a corrector? Well, maybe you didn't, but just let's say you did. Why don't I use the corrector on top of my lid? Because I just don't like the way it looks on top of the lid. I don't feel like the top of my lid needs all that, especially because I put a powder on and I do other things. I just feel like I don't need it. Like it's okay. But under the eye, nah, I just like the way concealer looks on the lid. I don't feel like I need to do all that for the lid space. I like concealer. Unless I'm going for like a sculpted look, I usually don't put this under my eye. I just have, you know, I have certain products that I prefer for certain things. And so we're just going to put this under here. You don't even have to wear lashes for this look. This is just something that I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. IRL. Okay. In real life, you don't have to do lashes if you don't want to. If you can put on like two, three coats of mascara and kind of get the same vibe, maybe not that full, but if you know you got lashes, you could totally skip that. You don't have to do lashes, but like y'all see the difference? It, 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 I must needs put on lashes. The concealer that I'm actually going to use is Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. This is in the shade 70NY. And so all I'm going to do, right? I told you guys that after this, I could totally just put powder on it and go on about my day, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to just go right here and I'm going to put a little bit of that concealer. This is really close to my skin tone. Okay. I could have taken the Too Faced too, but I didn't want to. Now here is where like, say I just have a couple spots here. I just might put a little bit of concealer on there. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And I also can, you know, put corrector around my mouth for hyperpigmentation if I want, but I'm not getting that deep today. We're not, we're not doing that today. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to take that same Fenty Beauty powder and I'm going to just apply that over on this side, put just a little right here. Cause I'm going to put on a hat and then boom, like what you know about it. And then hold on. Cause if you want a little bit of glow, you can do that too. I got you. You might want to just kind of put on a little setting spray. And one that is good for that is actually Pixie. Pixie is great for that. And then Morphe is good for that. Ofra is good for that. There's a few of them. I'm just going to take my highlighter brush. This is a Becca brush that they gifted me. And I'm going to go into my Ofra Beverly Hills. Y'all know it's, it's like a fave. And, um, actually there's two of them. I have the Ofra Beverly Hills. And then I also have the Becca chocolate geode. So we'll do the Ofra and then just put a little bit, just a little bit to give you that, that glow, right? Because we didn't do a full face. We're just going to do a little bit. If you can see the difference, you see, it even took care of like, I have like a little bag right here. It kind of concealed that it kind of covered that up a little bit, right? It neutralized the darkness under my eye. And then it muted out that discoloration. Like you see veins and everything on my lid. It kind of muted that and made it one color. And if I wanted to go over it with um, eyeshadow, I could totally do that. We're going to do it one more time and we're going to speed it up. Wait, I forgot to do right here, right? Cause I wear glasses. So I just want to put a little bit right there, a little bit more. Whenever I use a liquid product or a creamy product like that, I always set it with powder. Just always I do because I don't want it to move. I want it to stay in place where I tell it. I think I just went over my highlighter on the other side. It's okay. We'll fix that too. You see how healthy that looks, how youthful that looks. Of course you can still see some of my blemishes, but I'm not trying to hide them. I'm just making everything look more, um, even tone. I'm not trying to hide everything cause it's a supernatural. Now I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray. And voila, voila. I'm rocking a hat today. Everything is all done. You see how everything comes together. It's just a fresh look. It's not any 
anything like super magnificent that I did. It just makes me look way more youthful. It makes my skin look healthy, but I will encourage you like if you are putting something on your eyes or whatever, like I promise it will make your whole entire look feel better or not feel better, but look better. Just try it out at me or tag me on Instagram at Seeky underscore beauty. If you decide to try this, let me know in the comment section if this worked for you guys, cause I'm telling you, this was a game changer for me. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, your skin is so nice because you're not hiding behind any makeup, but at the same time, you're enhancing your beauty to where you're not just focusing on my like dark circles or anything like that. Am I saying not to be like, you know, comfortable in the skin that you're in? No, that's not what I'm saying. But when you want to spruce it up a bit, you want to look a little more flawless, or let's say you're going out for a day, you got a little date or you're taking pictures or whatever the case may be, not headshots, right? But just something like simple where you don't want it to, to um, put emphasis on dark circles. I got you. I got you. So if this helped you, don't forget to let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please, I forgot to say it in the beginning, but please do not forget to join the fan band by subscribing. And also connecting with me in the comments helps the algorithm as well. Okay. It helps you guys get notifications about my video to help push it out more. So I would appreciate that. Okay. Okay. But I love you guys. Have an awesome, blessed day. I almost said, oh, amazing day. And I will not see you sooner than you think, but I will see you soon. Bye. Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Hey.